What is going on YouTube? Fox here. Welcome to TSA with a brand new video. And in today's video, we are going to be playing Infinite Warfare in 2020. So, I hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys do, make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications. Check out all my 2020 videos so far. We've gone back to World War II, Black Ops 3 on the Xbox 360, and Call of Duty Ghost. If you guys want me to return to an older Call of Duty, let me know down in the comments right now. Let me know down in the comments. Comment something! I've gotten a lot of comments about one game in particular, and that's probably going to be one of the next three videos. So let me know down in the comments. I read all of those, and I try to respond to everybody as well. So yeah, and without further ado, let's go, bros. That was weird. Let's go, bros. That, that sounds more like it. All right, so we're going to, uh, I guess, I mean, not, yeah, well, I guess we'll use this. All right, so we got the UMP. So Infinite Warfare. Oh my, Infinite Warfare. I didn't play Infinite Warfare in its prime. You know, I kind of sort of did, but I kind of sort of didn't. So here's the thing. Infinite Warfare came out with Modern Warfare Remastered, and I probably played like two prestiges of Infinite Warfare, and I was kind of inspired by the competitive scene for Infinite Warfare because I really like Infinite Warfare competitive, but I just, I don't know, man, like it just, the game to me wasn't as fun as it could have been, and I wanted to lean more towards the traditional style of Call of Duty boots on the ground, and that's what I really enjoyed growing up, so I didn't really stick with uh, Infinite Warfare too much. I went and played Modern Warfare Remastered instead, and uh, yeah, so that's what I did instead of playing IW. I kept, well, I played MWR. This game, in my opinion, is better than Black Ops 3, and here's why. I think Infinite Warfare came out at the wrong time. I think if Infinite Warfare and Black Ops 3 switched places as far as like release dates go, then we would be saying that Infinite Warfare is better than Black Ops 3. Infinite Warfare copied a lot of things that Black Ops 3 did as far as like specialists, AKA payloads, you know, that's what they're called. Oh my god, just get destroyed. Shit. Wow, okay. Hold on. No, dude. Ah. This game seems to be a little bit of a lazier Call of Duty. And it kind of just shows that they didn't really have a lot of faith in this game because they did launch it with a remastered title. That being said, Infinite Warfare does a lot of things right. And the microtransactions is one of them, kind of, sort of. Not all the variants are locked behind drops, but there's a good amount of them that are. I don't really like that, personally. I don't think supply drops should be in the games at all. In my opinion, Infinite Warfare is, is pretty good as far as... The, the microtransactions and the supply drops and things like that goes. And I really like the fact that they put classic weapons in this game, even though I wouldn't really consider the Osa a classic weapon. Get destroyed. Holy crap. But there's the intervention. There's the UMP, as I'm using right now. There's the Spaz-12, or uh, it's called... Um, I think it's called the Ravager. It's like it's the Ravager or like Sandy Ravage or whatever. That's what it's called after the YouTuber Sandy Ravage. If you guys don't know who Sandy Ravage is, you guys gotta look him up. He's awesome. He's like like an OG YouTuber from back in Modern Warfare 2 and things like that. Had like awesome godly Spaz 12 montages and things like that. Get off. What are you doing? Ah, almost had him. Almost had him. I've been trying to play better as far as Call of Duty goes. I've been trying to like play in a little bit more smarter, more smart. No, not that. That's not. That doesn't make any sense. What, what the fuck am I talking about? Uh oh, retard alert! Retard alert, clap! I've been playing. I've been trying to play smarter instead of you know just like going for like a bunch of kills and stuff like that. I've been trying to play a little bit smarter just because like I can be a good player if I really want to be. I just feel like I should be dropping nukes if I really want to. I feel like I could drop one if I really, really tried. Okay, well, not when everyone takes my damn kills.
I just got a yeah, let's go! Holy shit! Holy shit! Make sure you guys use code FOXY at gfield.com because if you do, then you get a nice discount because on uh, uh, January 15th, we have a brand new Carnage Clan Shaker that I'm super excited about. I, I don't have it with me. I'm supposed to be getting it in the mail soon. If you use code FOXY on the 15th, you get you get a discount for the Carnage Shaker. All right, so we got the Karma now, and like I normally don't use this weapon, to be honest, but I figured I would use different weapons because if I use the MV4, you know, it's it, it's just, it's I mean, like not that it's there's anything wrong with using the MV4. It's just like, I know I'm going to get comments like, oh, why are you using the MV4? It's the best gun in the game. Uh, well, you know. Now, in my opinion, now this is just my opinion. Let, let's, let's say this real quick. My opinion. This is my opinion. Infinite Warfare has better movement than Black Ops 3. And it's not even close. And when I say that, I mean that Infinite Warfare has a smoother movement than Black Ops 3. And that's what makes it better, in my opinion. <laughs> What's this? Holy shit, what the hell is that? I don't even know what this is. Holy shit, what the hell is that? What is this? I think this is a DLC gun. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is a, I don't know what camo this is either, but it's pretty cool. I actually kind of like this gun. <laughs> this thing has like a target finder on it. That's what this reminds me of. Oh my, okay. We're gonna check our back fat here. You know, it's so weird not being able to change your class in the middle of the game. I'm not used to it, to be honest. Like, I, I want to kind of switch weapons, and I kind of want to use that weapon I was using. The X, the whatever the hell it's called. I don't know. Oh, my God. I almost fell off. I almost fell off. I almost pulled a Yankee. Oh, my God. That shit. Oh, man. That was kind of nice movement. Now, like I said earlier in the video, Infinite Warfare came out at the wrong time. The game was never going to be successful. Obviously, there's going to be people that like it because there's people that like the jetpack games and things like that. But it was never going to be successful, in my opinion, because everybody was just tired of the jetpacks. I can't really speak for everybody. I stopped playing Call of Duty during Ghosts. And even when I came back to Call of Duty after multiple years of not playing, I still was like, screw this jetpack stuff. Give me some boots on the ground. Oh, this ADS is like super slow, but we're going to use this X Eon gun because it was smacking last game. So, oh, damn, I just got destroyed by a shotgun. Nice. Ooh. I actually like the sound of this gun, to be honest. It just sounds like super badass. Like, I know it sounds obviously like a laser. It's like a laser gun, but like it just, it's got this like really badass laser sound. I don't know. I nerd out about the sounds in games, okay? It's my major, so you know, I, I got I got some type of uh, excuse for it at least. Oh my goodness. This gun's really fast. There's one, there's two, there's three, four. Oh, dude! Alrighty then. So since I'm using a DLC gun, I guess I'll talk about the DLC guns real quick in this game. I don't really mind the fact that they put DLC guns in this game, and here's why. With most Call of Duty games, the supply drops and the microtransactions are kind of predatory against for, or at least for DLC weapons. However, in this game, and even in Modern Warfare Remastered, the supply drops were pretty, I mean like, obviously MWR has the best supply drop system in my opinion, but the DLC weapons for this game, in my opinion, were justified because the DLC weapons were available to you if you got the season's pass. And honestly, if they're gonna do a season's pass ever in Call of Duty ever again, I don't really know if they ever will again because obviously this year we don't have it for Modern Warfare. And that's the thing. If you pre-ordered this game and you got the season's pass with Infinite Warfare, then you got all the DLC weapons without opening supply drops, without anything. You just had to pay 50 bucks and you got maps and guns. That's pretty fucking dope in my opinion. In my opinion, that's a pretty awesome way in doing things. That's pretty much worth 50 bucks. You get, you know, 50, like I'd say about like, let's see, you got 20 maps and you got around, ah, God, I don't know. I don't know how many DLC weapons there are. Probably like 20 DLC weapons. To me, that's worth 50 bucks. I don't know. Like, let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments. Like, what do you guys think about the DLC weapons being locked behind 
the uh, the behind the scenes pass. I think it's pretty worth it in my opinion, but not everyone's gonna share that opinion, obviously. Obviously, they shouldn't be locked behind anything. We should be able to earn them through challenges, but if they're gonna be locked behind something, I'd rather have a season's pass or something where I could buy or pay $20 or 15 or like, $30 and get every single DLC weapon that ever comes out and that's like 30 weapons. So that's like a dollar a weapon Okay, so I don't have the akimbo models, but we're just gonna use this shotgun because I don't have the S Ravage or the Spaz 12 or whatever. <laughs> Good God, no we're not, we are not using that. All right, so we're gonna use the K-Bar. And the K-Bar is my favorite gun in this game. It's probably the second best gun next to the uh, MV4. But, you know, this, this gun was used in competitive and all that good stuff. Uh, this is the a Christmas variant that came out when the game came out. I remember trying to get a nuke with this gun. Uh, and, like, it's got an awesome, like, snowflake red, like, wrapping paper Christmas skin. Or camo or whatever. I think it's pretty freaking sweet. So, guys, let me know what you guys think of Infinite Warfare down in the comments. Do you guys like it? Do you guys hate it? What do you guys think? What is this gun? Whoa. I just want to talk to you. I just want to talk to you. Holy crap, this thing shoots like lasers or like a beam. It's like that one that it's like that one dude specialist. I don't know the character names in this game, so please give me a break. I wonder what Modern Warfare would have been like if they had made maps that were similar to these maps. You know, take the maps that were similar in design in I to IW, but make them for Modern Warfare. And I would love to see how the game would play different. If it would play different, you know, you never know. It might not play different at all. This is like one of those cases and scenarios, even though this is a really small map, there's multiple ways to go around this map so this is cool because genesis that's what this map is called genesis is a remake of strike zone from call of duty ghosts and although strike zone isn't the coolest map around and ghost isn't the most accepted call of duty around this map is it's a cool remake honestly it's, it's a really dope concept and i like it you know yeah you thought oh wait wait so if you Oh, it's, it's, oh, it's a different fire rate. So if you aim down this gun, if, if you ADS with this gun, the fire rate is faster than if you hip fire. That's pretty cool. No lie. Oh, wow. My team is getting absolutely smashed by the Vizen clan. Oh, man. The Vizen clan. The, it's probably Vision, but I'm just going to say it wrong just because I think that's fucking funny. <laughs> Interesting. Still pub stomping on Infinite Warfare. Just... Oh, man. Almost got a, almost got a, almost got a. Three piece on the Vision Clan. Oh, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Come on.